Hello guys, I'm Herman. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we build an elevator, an elevator from start to finish. So in this video today, I'm going to show you all the parts that we used, how we put them together in order to achieve the, to obtain the results that we've been able to achieve so far. Let's get started. So in order for us to make this elevator, we use the MGM brake motor. So these are the characteristics of the motor as you can see on your computer screen. We use this gearbox, it is the TRC helical gearbox. Those are the characteristics of it as well. And we use the Fujifrenic Mini, which is um, the VFD that controls the motor. We have this U-bar, which we, which we use for the framing and the guide rail for the carriage, as you can see right there. And we have the limit switches for the end stop of the carriage. So this is the carriage itself. We are so sorry for the low light that we, that we have there. And we have this door, this door system, which we which we bought from China, to automatically work in combination with the with the system to so open and close when need be. And we have this um, fingerprint and RFID reader, which we which we use to access the door whenever our time comes. And this is the system already combined, the mechanical system combined with everything. So that's how it looks like. Okay, now that we have already mounted everything and did all the electrical connection, it was time for us to deal with the automation. For that, we had to avoid using expensive parts for the project. So we had to buy, we had to make the system to be controlled with a microcontroller, which is inexpensive. For this part we use, for this controller we use the STM32 um, Blue Peel Microcontroller Board. So is what makes the whole elevator to work the way it's working so as you can see right there we've designed the prototype board for that and now we are going to mount all the components on top of it As you can see right there, we are actually connecting the pins for the STM32 board. Now we mount the release on top of the controller, onto the control of the controller board. We solder them in place. After soldering all the parts, this is what we, this is what the control board look looks like. So it is well soldered and nice. It is time for us to take it to the to the working site and install everything to the box. As you can see right there, this is the control box for the elevator. We have the controller hooked up to the um, to the Futurefenic VFG and the power supply of 5 volts, 20 amperes to power everything that requires a 5 volts. So let's test it and see how it works. 
you can see right there we just have to press the button and then the door opens when we go there now we press on the down switch then it takes us down until the lower limit switch is triggered and when the lower limit switch is triggered the door automatically opens and then we go out So the door opens and then we are good. So we have some laser sensors on, on each of the doors to detect when someone is already in on our, or out. Let's go down again, the door opens, we go in there and press on the down switch. The elevator takes us down. As you can see right there, that is the meta rope that carries the carriage up and down. And those are the and that is the guide rail, which is made of a U-bar. The door opens. And then we are out. So it is time for us to now replace these uh, these switches to, to the RFID reader and do everything. As you can see right there, that's the limit switch. That's the RFID reader that works now with the RFID card to have access to the lifter. As you can see the system works perfectly well and I'm very 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 impressed uh, with what we can do with this microcontroller board. To be sincere with you, I was not expecting to have to obtain such a result with this thing, but I'm so impressed. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.